Hey BFFs, how are you guys doing today? Well, in today's video, we are going to show some love to our envelopes. We're going to cash stuff our variable expenses and our sinking funds. So let's get into this video. guys obvious elephant in the room y'all know I cut my finger well <laughs> there's never a dull moment with Gigi and hubby so I wanted to go ahead and show y'all um, this because <laughs> y'all are gonna see it uh, I fell out of my back door my sliding glass door um, the I was taking the pups out for their night potty and it had rained and I have a rug at my back door um, that has this non-slip mat on the bottom and I opened the sliding glass door and I stepped one foot out and me and the rug, half of my body went this way. The other half stayed in the house this way. Um, and I proceeded to split out the back door. Now, um, this is where, um, and it kind of goes all the way around. You can't see it because I can't twist it around like that, but, and it goes on up here, but, um, this looks like this on my left arm and then my right leg my right foot all the way up to my knee and around the back of my right thigh looks like this um it hurt it hurt my pride <laughs> um and of course hubby couldn't do anything because he's not supposed to bend um and he wanted to try to reach and help me. Um, but of course, I was like, no, you cannot do that. Like, you cannot just go back in the house. Just, just go back in the house and let me, let me sit here on the back porch and cry for a minute. <laughs> and get myself together. So, needless to say... The only thing hubby could do was kick the rug off the porch. So he kicked the rug off the porch, the rest of the porch. But um, I think maybe because it had rained earlier and it was maybe slippery. I don't know, maybe the way I stepped. I don't know. I don't know. But we, we took a nice tumble. A nice little tumble. But... I'm okay. <laughs> um, I did when I fell. I busted my finger back open. Um, but there's, I mean, I can't go get it sutured. It's too late. So we're just, we're just baby. And I had, I had just took my splint off. We were getting ready to go to bed. Like I said, taking the dogs out for their final time. And I just opened the back door and stepped the wrong way and it so <sighs> like I said y'all it's never a dull moment never a dull moment but hubby is doing good he is recovering nicely um he is getting around he is hard-headed and he is stubborn but he is trying to take it easy I don't know I'm making him take it easy, but, ooh, men can be so, so difficult, so difficult, but isn't it pretty? Affairs in order with Gigi, I love it. All right, let's see how much we're working with. 
should be $2,100, but let's count to make sure. And y'all know it's awkward with this on. So we have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1900, and y'all usually I'm not this awkward with counting money, it's just a splint. So 19, and then we got 1950, 2000, and then we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2100. So that is correct. And y'all, we are over 700 subscribers. Awesome. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Y'all, thank y'all so much. And y'all know what that means? That means we'll be doing a giveaway. And y'all know I don't announce giveaways because I want those of my subscribers who watch regularly to, of course, get the first opportunity. So y'all have to stay tuned because it'll just be a surprise, random giveaway. So now we're working on our goal of 800 subscribers. I want to get monetized before um, my year anniversary because I don't want to lose my watch hours. Um, I don't know how all that works, but we have a couple of months and I know we can get there. So now we're going to be working on 800 subscribers. So let's get to cash stuffing. So first things first, our brown Louis V dupe. We got to get some money in these envelopes because we need some groceries and all that good stuff. So, do I always do that. I always re-zip those. Okay, groceries. And y'all, for y'all new folks, welcome. Welcome. We are so happy to have you here. Um, I stuff our variable expenses the beginning of the month. So, um, groceries, gas, things of that nature that you see me um, stuffing today is our monthly stuffing. So groceries will be get, getting 700. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars for our groceries. And then our gas envelope will be getting 300. One, two, three. And y'all, I completely and totally forgot to adjust my budget because hubby is not driving to work. But y'all know whatever we don't use from our... Um, Variable expenses, we always send that extra to debt. So we'll use it one way or another. But I did not adjust, and I probably should have. Dine out. Dine out is going to get 150 So $150. And we don't really dine out. I know I'm pretty much like a homebody. I don't really go anywhere um, except for doctor's appointments. So usually it's takeout. Um, household, is our household getting? Yes, our household is getting. I have my little cheat notes over here to the side. So household is getting. One fifty. 
and I don't use this for like household supplies. Um, what we're using, because I put all of that in my grocery budget, um, I tried to separate it for a little while and it just made more sense. We buy it at the grocery store anyway, so we just put it in with our grocery budget. Um, household, we are using this for, um, we want to get to a thousand dollars and we're going to use it for if any appliances go out or, um, things like that for the home itself. So now we have in our household envelope, one, two, y'all, this is so awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine fifty, a thousand. Okay, we're halfway right there with our goal. So one thousand, um, fifty, seventy, ninety. So eleven $1 hundred dollars. So yeah, we, we've got to do a cash condensing because I got to get this money out of our envelope. So we will be doing a cash condensing sometime this month. Yeah, that is awesome. Just stuffing a little bit every month and it just fills up. I love it. And then miscellaneous, miscellaneous will be getting a thousand, a, a thousand. Y'all hear me? I got that thousand on the brain. Miscellaneous will be getting a hundred, and this is for anything unbudgeted or that just comes up. So there's that hundred for miscellaneous. And our giving envelope gets $20 with each check. So now our giving has 20, 40, $60 and I have no specific place for this yet as things come up if I see a need in our community if I see a need of budgeters or you know some like sometimes like a couple of months ago we gave to our local pounds they needed food donations and things of that nature so we gave our giving envelope to them. Sometimes it's someone, you know, random that needs a meal or to the food bank. It, it just random, random things. Our family envelope will be getting, let me make sure, $100. So now our family envelope has one, two, three, four, five, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six hundred, twenty dollars. Now it really is awkward counting with this slant. So six twenty for family. And then hubby, he gets his money the first of the month. And hubby will be getting one, 20, 40, and 50. So hubby gets 150. So let's get this all straight. So now hubby has one, Two, three, four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, five hundred, five, ten, twenty, thirty, five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So hubby has five hundred thirty-seven. In his envelope. And that is all for the brown Louis V dupe. So we'll set that aside and we'll pull out the white Louis V dupe. And we will start with medical. 
and medical will be getting a hundred dollars so now the medical envelope has one two three four five six six twenty forty sixty eighty seven seven twenty forty sixty eighty so seven eighty five eighty six eighty seven so seven eighty seven in medical and this envelope we are building it up because um, if you're new here I have um, several uh, incurable diseases and lots of specialists and my specialists are one is out of state and one is in state but it's about a five hour six hour drive from us so um, my surgeries, my doctor's appointments, things like that, we would need this for out of town travel. So that's what we're building this, this envelope up for. And then we have our car maintenance. And hubby has a goal of $1,500 for car maintenance. And this check will be getting a hundred. So now car maintenance has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a thousand, twenty, forty, five, forty six. So a thousand. $46. So we are almost at our goal for the car maintenance. And then we will, once we, once we reach that goal, we'll stop stuffing this envelope and um, try to bulk up the other ones until we reach those goals. And we do have the $1,000 emergency fund per Dave Ramsey in our account and then credit card debt payment we are not doing that we're not doing that extra stuffing because we stuff this envelope with my husband's work check and since he's out of work um, until sometime in May maybe June uh, we won't be getting his um, paycheck so we won't be stuffing that until he get he goes back to work. And our pet care will be getting a hundred dollars. So now the fur babies have one, two, three, four, five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty six. 620 40 60 so 660 dollars and this is for their groomings and we just wanted to kind of bulk that up some like i said while hubby uh, was out of work and then personal personal will be getting a hundred dollars also so now personal has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eight, twenty. So eight hundred and twenty dollars in personal. And this is for bulk items we buy. Um deodorant in bulk, shampoo in bulk, and liquid IV in bulk, and I just have not ordered those yet because we still have some. Um, we, I thought we were out of the liquid IV, but hubby found a whole another pack, so we're still working on that. 
And then we have $20, $30. This will go into all the other money from February and March that um, we I've just been setting aside to do savings challenges in the month of April. So we will put this $30 into that money for our savings challenges. Now, if you guys, some of you guys, if y'all are logging off here, leave me a heart emoji. The rest of us are going to do our prompt card and see what our question is. Let's see, what is our question today? What is your favorite way to practice self-care? Well, I don't do it often, but I love going to get a pedicure. Um, and usually when I get my pedicure, I get my eyebrows waxed. Um, so that is what I like to do for self-care, or I like taking hot bubble baths. Um, but what are you guys? What's your favorite way to practice self-care? Leave your answers in the comments below. It helps us get to know each other better. And I love seeing everybody's answers. I mean, it's, it's always so fun to see what other people think about things. Because right now, you guys just know me by my hands. So you get a little more in depth to know who I am and I get to know more about you guys too because y'all know, y'all are my BFFs. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. You know, hit the like button, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Um, hit that subscribe button. We are now on our way to 800. Oh! 800 subscribers and y'all know I couldn't do that without you guys y'all are who made this possible um hit that share button and share the video with someone that you think may enjoy it if you have any questions or any suggestions you can leave those in the comments below too and I just want to welcome all our new BFFs and you know, you know, to our OG BFFs, y'all are fabulous. I, I just, I, I'm totally amazed every day by your support and your encouragement. And y'all, y'all just mean the world to me. But I love you guys. Until next time, friends.